Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is we're going to make us a cold smoker. And uh, first thing we're going to need is a garbage can. Now, I know this is galvanized, and some people might uh, say you should never heat up galvanized, but uh, it's not going to give off those toxic chemicals until it gets a lot hotter than the temperature we're going to have. Cold smoking, the, the internal temperature is going to be around 200 degrees. And that gives us about 100 degrees or so of, of safety uh, factor before this thing starts getting hot. So uh, please don't, don't complain about it being galvanized. I also have one of these old round grills that's going to make the smoke chamber. Or going to make, make the smoke. This is going to be the smoke chamber. Have a couple of grates. couple of these starters, some flexible hose, and this is a dryer hose. Dryer hose is plastic and it'll burn and melt and stuff. This is a lot more solid. Some pipe clamps, and then I've got some metallic tape, okay? And basically all we're going to do is we're just going to connect this, this uh, grill down here to the bottom. So smoke from the grill goes into the uh, uh, garbage can, and then we're going to put the grates for our food, put the lid on it, start this up, and we can smoke stuff. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mark out for our top. And for this, it's pretty simple. Now that we marked out our cuts, we're just going to get the drill, drill a starter hole, and then cut it out with these tin snips. Now that we got our hole cut, we're just going to take this starter, okay, and we're going to bend these tabs out, okay. All right, now that I got it attached, I'm going to put some of this metallic tape on it. Right now, we're just going to attach our. Uh, Hose. Now that that's attached, the next thing to do is to put our hole down here to attach our uh, line. All right. It's above the base. It's between the two handles, and it's away from that seam. And this time I, I marked it out from the inside so it won't have as many sharp, jagged edges. Okay. To make the cutting easier, too, I cut lots and lots of holes in here, drilled lots and lots of holes, and I'm just going to use the, uh, the uh, tin snips to connect the holes. All right. It ain't pretty and it'll probably cut the fire out of you, but it's workable for now. Same thing as before, we're gonna tape it up. All right. Now that my inlet pipe is in, the next thing to do is to drill some holes for my screws that are going to hold up my racks, okay? I'm going to want to make sure that I do that uh, very evenly, okay? All right, what I've done is at 7 inches from the top of the rim and at 15 inches from the top of the rim in, on the four, four sides, so here, directly across, 90 degrees from that and directly across from that, I drilled quarter inch holes, okay? And I've got some quarter inch bolts, some fender washers, and some lock nuts, or some lock washers, okay? And I'm just going to put a, a washer on there. Put another fender washer 
and a lock washer and the nut That's what it looks like now. And before I put the grates in, I'm going to attach my hose. All right, there it is, complete smoker. Okay, all we got to do left now is put the grates in. And I just got some Weber round grates. Most of the smoker plans I see only use one set of grates, but uh, I figure while I'm at it, I might as well just do two. And there you go. And uh, before I start cooking in there, I'm going to throw some aluminum foil down on the bottom just to make cleaning easier. And uh, I'm just going to get a test fire going just to kind of get it started. Um, see if I got any kind of residues or anything from the tape or you know whatever before I actually put some food in it but uh, tomorrow I think we're going to smoke with some sausage and some cheese well it looks like it works I might have to plug up some holes over there in my uh, cooker over there but I'm really not too worried about it because that at least gets some airflow all right I'm not smelling any chemicals or anything. Of course, uh, that's, a, that's a bad way to tell if you've got chemicals. The sides are cool to the touch. This is getting a little warm. But the garbage can is pretty cool. And the smoke is pretty cool. So there we go. And until next time, you must catch online www.tngun.com.